Guess what? I have some good news. We talked to Steve Hardy, and we got permission for Anna to bring BJ by to see you tomorrow. No. No, I don't want What's that. What's the matter? What's the matter? I what? should be happy. You want me? You wanted to see me like this? I don't want that. No. I forgot. You know, oh. I get started practicing and I lose all sense of time. Oh, Come on, we'll get right to it. Thank you. Oh, great. Oh, Hi, Chloe. Huh? What Where is, is he? Where He's not here. Your father's not here. Oh, well, look, Dad. He's a puppy. Oh, oh a puppy. Oh, well, you know, the last time I saw him, I think he was asleep under your daddy's bed. Well, can I go see him? Uh, <laughs> yes. Okay. I want to go see him. Well, now that the important thing seems to be taken care of, can I make you some tea or something? Oh, no, that's okay. That good Oh, no, I'm... I'm about to make some for myself. I'd really enjoy your company. Well, I never refuse a cup of tea. Well, then, English. let's do it. <laughs> Thank you. Let me turn the kettle on here. Nice and you know, yeah. I had some herb tea here. Mm -hmm. I tried it out on Robert when he was here. He seemed to like it. Uh, by the way, have you heard from him? No, I haven't. I was about to ask you the same question, actually. I certainly haven't heard from him. Yeah, I just seem to have this talent for upsetting him. I don't know what it is. I don't even try. I'm around him and I irritate him. I don't know why. Good. It's about time someone did that. You think that's good? Of course it's good. It's perfect for him. It's exactly what he needs. I mean, he spends most of his time trying to intimidate women. And, well, you know, it's just a shame. What's the shame? It's just, it's not, I don't know. What? It's just a shame you're engaged, that's all. Why? Well, uh, I mean, I'm just, I'm just thinking out loud. I mean, it's very good you're engaged. I'm very happy for you. It's, hmm. you know, I'm, did you set a date yet? <laughs> no, we haven't. Oh. Not yet. Oh, well, you should. I mean, you know, you should. I mean, the sooner you set a date, then the sooner you can start making plans. Well, you know, I, I haven't really thought about it yet. Mm. I mean, between Paul's career and my career, yeah. it's really difficult to find a time when we're both together. Excuse me. Right. A working girl, I suppose, you know, I mean, uh, you should find time, try and... It depends what kind of a wedding you want, I and mean, some of them can be very complicated to prepare and all. Yes, well, well, I'm not in any rush. You know, I believe in long engagements. Ah. Yeah. Well, most people that are in love, you know, they're too impatient for long engagements. No, well, but I'm realistic, and so is Paul. You know, I, our individual careers consume so much of our time and energy that it's... Really difficult. My lessons won't wake him, will they? Hmm? Is Friday asleep? Yes, asleep. Yeah. Um, can we play, like, quiet music, not, you know, loud music? <laughs> loud music? Mm -hmm. I think you are really your father's daughter. I'll tell you what. Okay. Can you play scales really quietly? Yes. Then we'll do it. All right. I'm not going to bother you here, uh, am I? No, we don't mind an audience, do we? Oh, I hope I don't make any mistakes. You know? oh. I'm not as good as you are. Well, listen, mistakes are how we all learn. Trust me, I have made more than my share of them. Okay. Let's try this. See how much you practice. Ready? Hey, okay, warming up my hands. Okay, okay. here we go. And what the devil do you mean, Councilman Connie? Who the hell are you? No, no. Calm down, all right? I didn't come in here to upset you. I just don't want BJ in here. All right, fine. I don't want her to fine. see me like this. You understand all that? All right, look, nobody's going to force you to do anything. But I really wish you would reconsider for her sake. She's doing just fine without me. You tell me oh, that all the come time. Oh, on. She misses you as much as you miss she's her. She's little. It's okay. Oh, well, okay. She's two years old. I'll agree with that. But it's not okay. She's not okay until she knows that you're okay. I'm not. I can't see. She can see you. Still doesn't matter. I, she'd be scared. I don't think you're giving your little girl enough credit. She would know that something was wrong with me. That things weren't the same. I... She couldn't handle it. It'd be too much it. for I her. Think she can handle it. I think you can handle it too. 
Knock, knock. Let me in or the big bad therapist will huff and puff and blow the door down. Come in. Oh, from the sound of that, we're not up to jolly jokes from the therapist this morning. Sorry. Don't be. How are we this morning? What, are you a doctor now? What's this we business? He's doing fine. I wish we could convince him. Did I miss something? Yeah, she wants to know how you're fixed for miracles. I may have one or two in my basket of tricks. Why? Well, there's just one day till tomorrow. What happens tomorrow? I guess my little girl's gonna come see me. <laughs> runs your life for you. <laughs> Mr. Donay does just about everything for me. He looks after Miss Delafield's career, you know, where she plays and what uh, money she All of the yeah. above. I apologize for not uh, calling before I came. Well, I, I forgive you, but I didn't expect you here until next week. Well, I certainly didn't expect someone else to answer the door. I apologize for shouting at you. Well, oh, that's all right. I allow him these few little temper tantrums because I love him. Besides that, you know, my career wouldn't exist without Donnie. Yeah. Well, I expect you have a lot to talk about then. Mm. Well, that means then I, I don't have to finish my lesson? No. Uh, uh, it really breaks your heart, doesn't it? Well, she has a lot on her mind, you know, oh. pets and shopping and stuff. Yes, and we're going to take uh, BJ shopping. We're going to get her a new little dress. She's going to visit her dad. Oh! Yeah. Well, then your musical career will just have to wait until next week. Okay. Right. Well, we'll be going then. Sure. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me, you know, play with the doggy. Do you have a dog? I'll explain that to you. So, uh, Mr. Donay, it's very nice meeting you. Yes. You're going to be around long? Or? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, long enough to complicate my life. I... Right. That's my job and my sole purpose, my dear. Right. Maybe one of these days I'll manage your career, huh? Well, I think I'm going to join the police department like my mom and dad. Police? Uh, I'll explain that to you later, too. Well, okay. I think you should have lots of fun shopping today. Yes. Oh, yes, we will. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, Friday. All right. Thanks Bye. for everything, Captain. Yeah. Who is Friday? The dog. You have no business having a dog any more than canceling Carnegie Hall. It's for a good cause, Donnie. You call a local yokel benefit for a bunch of children a good cause? Donnie, be reasonable. I didn't cancel anything. When they asked me to play the benefit, the New York date wasn't even final yet. I didn't think it would interfere, so I accepted. No pay, of course. They couldn't afford to pay me, you know that. Besides, the General Hospital Daycare Center is a very good cause. You know, you're being very generous, giving your talent away like that. But what about me? You're taking money out of my pocket. And how about all those years of hard work I put into you and your talent? And since when do you have enough time to have pets? and to give piano lessons. You should spend every waking moment you have practicing. I... Your time and your talent are much too valuable to throw away on this kind of nonsense. I'm only doing a favor for a friend and it doesn't take much time. Apart from that, I've spent every waking moment practicing. Just the same. When I am not here to take care of you, you must take care of it. You must nurture your talent the way I do. You must work on it. You must hone it the way I have since I've discovered you. I made you a star, and only hard work will keep you there. And you are that star. Shining as I might have once if I hadn't gotten sick. But you're getting so much better. I mean, I'm really proud of you. As far as I know, you haven't even had a drink in months. Of course I haven't. Now, can we get down to business? Since you insist on this benefit insanity, we have to give New York an alternate date. 